Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. So today in the session of DFNFA complete guide, we will be looking into some more gate previous year questions where, where we have chosen these five questions. Okay, one is from gate 2005, 2007, 2008, 2012 and 2014. Okay, so these five questions we have picked up and now today we will be discussing about them. Okay, so let's start with gate 2005 question. So it is telling that consider the machine M. Okay, so here is a machine M. So the language recognized by the machine M is okay. So they are asking whether I mean what is the correct language which is accepted by the machine M. Okay, now let's check all the options. Okay, so let's check for option one. Every A in W is followed by exactly two B's. Every A in W, okay, W means the string. Okay is exactly followed by exactly two b's so let's take an example of a b b okay a b b b so there are three b's so according if 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 the option one is the correct language then this string should not be accepted now let's check okay given a starting from the initial state if we get a we'll come to this state okay now given b we'll go to this state now given the second b we'll come to the final state now given the another b there is the self loop and so will be final in the final state so this language or this string is being accepted okay but according to the language one every a in w is followed by exactly two b's okay it means that this language one is not correct okay because it is telling that should be accepted by two b's okay but here we can see that our string where the three b's are there it's also being accepted so language option one is not correct now let's check option c w contains a substring a b b okay w contains a substring a b b so that option is also false because maybe we have the substring a b b a suppose we have the string a b b a okay now we can see that a b b as a substring is there okay a b b as a substring is there now let's see whether that will be accepted or not so by the first a we will come to this state by the say by the first b we will come to this state by the second b we will go to the final state by again getting the last a we will come back to this state okay we will come back to this state itself so that means that this string is being rejected okay so in spite of satisfying the condition of the given language this string is being rejected by the given automata okay that means what that means only one reason is there that this language is no also not accepted by the given automata okay now let's check the last part where w does not contain substring a a okay substring a so this string itself the string that we have used for option three so this string itself is not having substring double a okay here you cannot see a substring double a but still it is not accepting okay still the string is being rejected by the given finite automata that means that option d is also not the correct option okay so we have only one option left that is the option b and that is the correct option because every a should be followed by at least two b's okay here you can see every a should be followed by at least two b's after that innumerous number of b's can come okay after that infinite number of b's can come and the string will be still accepted so at least two b should be after any a okay every a should be followed by two b's so the option two is the correct option for the given question okay so let's look at the next question it is telling that consider the following dfa what is the language recognized by the dfa okay so here you can see that there are two final states okay there are two final states now uh, from s0 okay from s0 in s0 you know the number of x is number of x is here even okay and number of y is here also even okay here number of x is even and number of y is even now if we if you go to s1 if you go to s1 that means that you are adding a x here you are adding a x here so that means number of x should be odd and number of y is even okay number of x is being odd number of y is being even now here in s3 itself number of x is even now you are adding a y you are adding a y that means number of x is even but number of y is being odd okay and the same situation for s2 here you know 
in S1 number of X is odd number of Y is even okay now if you go if you get a Y that means number of X will be odd as well as number of Y will also be odd okay so these two states S1 and S3 okay these two states are accepting state it means that our language will accept either odd number of X and even number of Y or odd or even number of X and odd number of Y that means the last option okay where it is telling that either even number of X and odd number of Y or odd number of X and even number of Y okay it means that the option 4 is the correct option from the given game okay I hope that this discussion is clear now let's look into the next question where consider the following two finite automatas where m1 is accepting language l1 and m2 is accepting language l2 so m1 we can see that all the state for all the inputs the production rules are defined okay that means it is a dfa okay but for m2 we can see some ambiguity that from the initial state if you get one as a input symbol then either you can be into the initial state or you can go to the some non accepting state okay so that means this is a nfa okay so there is the basic difference that m1 is dfa and m2 is nfa but you know that the power of a dfa and nfa is similar okay so it means that dfa and nfa can accept or recognize same language as there is no problem okay now if you see the dfa you can see that in the string if there are two consecutive ones in the string if there are two consecutive ones that then the language or the string will be accepted okay in the string if there are two consecutive ones then the string will be accepted and the nfa is also actually telling the same thing if it gets a two consecutive ones okay if the string is containing two consecutive one then it will be accepted right so that means that the language by l uh, by m2 that is l2 and the language by m1 that is l1 both are same okay both languages are same so it means the first option is the correct option where language l1 and language l2 are same languages right so that is the correct option okay now let's look into the next question that arrived in gate 2012 so it is telling that what is the complement of the language accepted by the nfa shown below okay so here is the nfa we need to find the complement of the language so here we can see that see initial state is not final state okay that means null won't be accepted okay so a single a is accepted if we get a single a it will be accepted then after that we can come back to the initial state again a, if we get again a, a that means our string is being double a that will be accepted so overall you can see that the nf is accepting basically a uh, string a plus okay that means a to the power n and n should be greater than equal to 1 okay this number of a should be greater than equal to 1 that is the language which is accepted by the given nfa right now you need to find that the what is the language with i mean the complement of this language okay they are asking that what is the complement of the language okay complement of the language so complement means there can be total a star is the language which which is in total okay it means that that you can you can tell that this is our universal set okay and from here we will subtract the language which is accepted by this nfa okay we will subtract the language that is accepted by the nfa now our universal language is basically a star okay because we have only one alphabet a oh, i mean only one symbol in the alphabet set a so a star minus a plus that will give rise to only null because a star i mean the difference between a star and a plus is that a star can accept null also okay it, it can also accept the empty string but a plus in a plus there the smallest string will be a okay smallest string will be a it means the number of a should be at least one but for a star number of a can be zero also so it, it means that the difference between them will give null okay it means that the second option will be the correct option where null is the empty string okay i hope that this discussion is clear for the given question now look at the last question of today it is telling that consider the finite automata in the following figure here we can say that we can see that this is a nfa okay because in q0 
by getting one either you can stay in q0 or you can go to q1 okay so there is some ambiguity it means this is nfa now they are telling they are asking that what is the set of reachable states for the input string 0011 okay so our input string is 0011 by getting 0011 which are the states that we can reach okay so we will always start with our initial state q0 okay so from q0 our first symbol is 0 okay so in q0 we can see by getting 0 there is only one option that is self loop okay by getting 0 there is only one option that is self loop so by getting 0 it can go to q0 itself okay because there is no other option so first string is done okay i mean first letter or the first symbol is done let's look at the next symbol that is again 0 so q0 getting 0 there is only one option that is being in q0 okay now second symbol is also done now look at the third symbol that is 1 okay so from q0 by getting 1 we have two options either we can stay in q0 or we can go to q1 okay so we have two options either we can stay in q0 itself or we can go to q1 okay by getting 1 we have these two options okay now third symbol is done now let's look at the last symbol so from q0 if you get 1 from q0 if you get 1 you have two options one is to stay in q0 another one is to go to q1 okay from q0 if you get 1 you can either follow the self loop and stay in q0 itself or you can get 1 and go to the state q1 okay and from state q1 from state q1 if you get 1 you have only one option to go to state q2 okay you have only one option to state go to state q2 so that means that given the string 0011 okay i mean scanning the string from the initial state okay and i mean starting from the initial state by upon scanning the whole string we can go to finally we can reach to these three states okay q0 q1 and q2 so option a will be the correct option where we can reach to q0 q1 and q2 right i hope that this discussion is also clear if you have any question or queries please put it into the comment section okay we will be happy to address that thank you